Okay, so I haven't filmed a video in basically a hundred years. Basically, basically, basically. Um, I think since maybe I got back from Disney, did I have I filmed one? Maybe. I don't know. It just feels like it's been literally a hundred years since I've filmed. But I think what I like what I did was I, I mean, I filmed my new releases right, and I filmed like a kit lineup the other day, but. I haven't filmed a plan with me in a while. I think maybe I did film as soon as I got home and then I just filmed like three videos and I just haven't had to film like a plan with me in like three weeks. So um, today's the day apparently. So we are going to plan. This is the week like we were in Disney on, we, la we got there at like Orlando on Saturday and we went to Disney on Sunday. So we got some Disney antics in here. And then I also have some like extra stuff. We'll just like slide under there for the pick. Have some spooky things. I have the color of the week that I wanted to use, which is like the red sparkly, which is number 47 that just came out recently. I have, there's once more with love sticker sheet in here, a sticker sheet from my shop in here, which is number 281. I feel like that's a really good Halloween one to have on hand. Some plain Hannah stuff I have. Drip in sparkly red. I have confetti four in sparkly red. I have line in sparkly red. I don't know if I'm using all this, y'all. I just like to put things in here. I have poison apple in sparkly red. I have black bougie boxes because they're everything. Hannah literally just ordered 20 of those in her last order. I have the custom multi in the like newest edition font. I have the custom, like not custom scripts, the like scripts and whatever, the newest font and the date numbers in sparkly red, the glitter headers in sparkly head red, and the whole reinforcers. And you guessed it, sparkly red. So now I'm gonna quick take a little, um, little pitcher. And I also pulled out just, I'll need like months but I pulled out black and white icons because obviously I don't have like the perfect size mini icons for this. So yeah, I'm not like entirely sure of the plan. Let me take my watch off, it's not clanking everywhere. Not exactly sure what my plan is, but we're in it together. Sunday has five. I need five boxes for Sunday. You know, I saw somebody do something recently and I don't remember who it is, but if it's you, I've reposted your pictures on Instagram and I was like, what is she doing? Cause she had like Saturday, Sunday, and then like two days. And I think I'm going to try and emulate that. So I'm going to put Monday here. We'll see how this goes. And then do Sunday on two days. Am I going to regret this? I don't know. But I feel like with five, like otherwise I'm gonna have two flappies, which I don't really feel like doing today. And I think I should have enough boxes throughout to kind of just like figure this out. So let's go ahead and do some experimenting today. I will be the guinea pig. I've seen her do it, but I don't know what she did on the other side because I remember only seeing the one side. So, or they did, I don't know. So if it's you, let me know in the comments down below if you're watching. So let's figure this out. Out. So I think the bottom washi will still have to stay the same, right? Uh, I think what I'm going to do, since Sunday is so packed, Sunday is going to be a whole fun thing. I'll make Sunday go down farther, I think. So maybe I'll do the three. And then the the other one over here. We're going we're going rogue in this plan with me. Rogue. Oh, I need black bows because I don't have any bows. So thankfully, usually I have a bunch of bows laying around here, but also not too sure where I put them. My black bows. I might have to find that later. Come on, where are you? You gotta be in here. We got some. Okay. I was like panicking for a sec. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the black bow on, it'd be really cool if I had red something red. Like I could pull in, there's this red, like I feel like it's from Maggie. It's a little darker, like hearts, stars, is that all the red that I have? Yeah, 
I have more red coming in the future, though. So, because I could pull in, like, the bows or, like, the thing and then some of these boxes. Or I could just do the black bow. Hmm. I feel like it could mesh. But also, I'm kind of trying to stick to what I got. So, I feel like if I'm going to do the black, maybe I do it on this since it's lighter. I don't know. I feel like these are all the wrong answers. We're just, this is going to be the weirdest plan with me. Actually, but also, I'm doing something else that I've done in the past in a future plan with me. Or should it have been the black on here? I don't know. I did this in the past. Um, I go through my planner like archives what we're calling it um this is so weird and I did it I don't remember what it was for but I was like just not feeling the fact that like one specific day it probably was Halloween and Christmas because I feel like it's the only time that I would make the effort I put the um what's it called um like uh one of the Sundays I put on the next week because I was like, I don't know, like for Halloween, um, like Halloween is Sunday. So I'm just going to do Monday through, or sorry, Monday. So I'm going to do Monday through Monday in the planner. And then, um, the next week, the next day is just going to have Tuesday through Sunday because it, I was decorating for Christmas. I was over Halloween. I don't want to have Halloween all of my business then. So the only thing is I don't know what I'm going to do like on the top here, but maybe I could just do like some deco or something I don't know this is like very weird and I feel like I might regret it but also YOLO also do I even have enough overlays I think I would right if I'm not doing any ex oh but wait three I feel like I'm gonna need one more mmm like Hannah please bring me this um I feel like I can make it work possibly possibly and just like leave some things out maybe put something underneath a box so that I could use a black bougie and not use this and it wouldn't be as obvious maybe I'll do that and then we'll do that on Sunday have an extender that opens I think, I think, I think we're on the same page ish, sort of, not really, who knows. So this is going to be the tricky part. So we got, what do we got box wise? I hope I have enough boxes. I feel like I do because like this, I'm not going to use cause like it's just the extra skin tone and I don't care, but we have these, we have this and we have this. So I think we have more than enough boxes, right? Cause then I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine boxes so actually i'm gonna have to do some narrowing down which is gonna be difficult because they're all so cute but i think we're gonna do the haunted mansion like here because it's like closer to disney so let's just get those boxes down and i'm doing the black bougie boxes with the um the poison apples on top of it because I think that that is gonna be the look I'm going for and then as far as the colors go I don't think I'm color blocking I'm not and I don't think I'm actually gonna bring in this red because I want the red in the foil to pop and I think that's fun sometimes to do dark purple dark purple dark purple light purple or do I want to separate them? I can't separate them. Can I separate them? Mm, not with it not following the pattern. I don't know. We'll just keep... I feel like it could be cool, but it's fine. Okay. So, black bougie boxes. Love them for underneath, like, more spaced out patterns. I feel like it's just a good thing to have on hand. Here, not, like, we're not, we're not sure what we're doing about this yet. I feel like if I throw, like, a tall box... In there I could get something done as well but we're just gonna go with my gut currently and just work on the boxes I do know for sure I want to use so like I said this will be 
actually will it be yeah it's fine it's all good we're gonna figure it out we're gonna figure it out and then we'll do i think extender wise i'd probably do an extender down right maybe or extender up i don't know because then i don't know what i'm gonna do here i guess we're gonna have to figure this out first okay so we have this, which I feel like actually could kind of help us out because I feel like I could do an extender like this, cut it here, and then it would be like the perfect height to put a glitter header. I think this is what we're gonna do. So we are going to take a black glitter header. This is, feels like math, like really hard math. Okay, so we're gonna just stick that in there. Actually, I'm gonna just gonna put the bougie box down first because I feel like that makes more sense. Bougie box going down. Okay. So this is Sunday part two, which I'm cool with. And then we're going to take one of the kiddo boxes. And it's a good time to have like the actual extenders. So I just want to bougie box the whole back of the thing. Uh, or do I want to do like a flippy of... Hmm. So if I do two boxes here, I have five boxes worth. I want to have three boxes here. So one, two, three. So realistically, I feel like I could do this child in the back, right? And I think the easiest way to do this would be just to stick it and then peel it up a little once it's trimmed, possibly, question mark. I don't know. This is going to be, this is going to be a real... Fun time. All right, let's just stick it. Okay. Then we are going to hold this here. Some washi tape or something. I can tape it down just to hold it for now. On brand right there. And then I'm going to grab a slice tool and a ruler. And we're just going to trim this this way oops I think I got you I just just kind of rip it okay that looks fine to me okay so that's done with that so then what I'm going to do is peel this up. Could have probably like centered this out a little bit more, but that's okay. I'm going to just leave it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and kind of peel these apart with my non-existent fingernails. Planner. Sure that y'all are thinking of an easier way I could have did this, but yeah, that was sticky. Okay, I want to roll. Perf. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these squares from my cut up extenders and go ahead and stick it on here. No, stick it this way. Close that up. We're gonna line this up down here. Actually, it's probably easier for me to line it up and then flip this under, maybe. Okay, I'm not mad at where this is going. And then I will have extra room. And then I think for this, I'm just going to cut a bougie box. I should have more black ones, so. Or should I just layer it on top? I don't think I care if it's a little bit. Or do I care if it's overlapped? I could just overlap it and then um No, I don't think I care. If it's overlapped, it's really not that big of a deal. Okay. 
So that's cute. I think it's gonna need like to sit and like stay in that spot for a little bit. I think that looks good. Like good enough for like what we're doing, you know what I mean? For a second Sunday type look. I feel like I also could have just, see I could have just also did like the full tallness. Probably, I don't know. So if I did the full tallness on the top for math, yeah, I just feel like if I did the full tallness on the top, it would have had like, it would just cut in the middle or it would have just cut here. And I want the glitter headers, I think, to, I think that it's more important for me to have the glitter headers being straight than not. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. So we're going to do that. The only thing is, is I, I like extenders, obviously. I use them a lot. But I feel like sometimes I'm like, I wish that I could see like what was underneath here, like without having an extender, because I feel like it like hides it almost, but also it's okay. That. My, my clutter headers are so good, y'all. I love this kit, I think it's so cute. This artist just sent me um, another kit that's like a pop culture kit and oh my god, is it the cutest thing I've ever seen? I won't come out for a while because it's not like time sensitive, but it's so cute and I'm so excited. This is actually, I think, going to be kind of cute. I'm excited. But yeah, what did I do this week? I decorated for Christmas. I am the person who on November 1st is like take all the halloween stuff down which i only have three besides like outdoor i have like inflatables outside but which i don't i'm not taking down anytime soon because it's been wet and that's just not the mixture of things that i want to handle right now so as far as boxes go i think i want to use like out of all of these i am i love them all but i think i want to use like first choice would be Winifred question mark um but yeah I just don't like Halloween I'm just not I and every year I like really try to like Halloween and then like at the end of the year or at the end of the season I'm like yep just not for me it's just not a me thing I just am a Christmas girl and I cannot help myself I just cannot so I was thinking I could also like go to work and see if there's any like misfit versions of the washi and just grab an extra Sunday. but I don't know if like having two Sundays next to each other would be like a little repetitive so I think I might just do like some deco bits over here I don't think I'll have room to do the October because I'm gonna do Monday over here right this is gonna be weird really really weird but I also think like doing two extenders on Monday would have been kind of weird too but also like not super weird I don't know it's gonna look strange. Okay, then I'm gonna do. Actually, I probably could put October on top of it if I tried hard. Then we'll maybe we'll do Oogie Boogie. I do quite like the Oogies. Or maybe I'll do him on Monday. So basically, with this, I'm gonna line it up with the bottom line of the bougie and then the side of the washi and then it's just like a hope for the best on straightness and then here we'll do cruella it's supposed to be kind of like a disney themed halloween party like that sorry i just hit the mic let's see why well, i have glitter headers i should right is that how the math works Possibly. I think I should. If not, oops, we're going to figure something out. Hopefully I do. Pretty sure I will, though. I'm trying to think of things to talk about, but also I feel like this is a very concentrated situation. Because I literally, I'm not too confident in what I'm doing. I'm just trying to survive here. Let's do this one. Then we'll do, 
I do quite like this scene, but I like really love the characters. I only have two boxes left. So I feel like the characters are gonna like need to be in here for me. So let's do Maleficent. Yeah, and that looks good. Here. I could have put instead of the girl, but I mean, it's also a character too, because it's Captain Hook, who's a villain, and oh my gosh, I put her on upside down. Oh god, okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fix her in a minute. We're gonna fix her when I'm done because that. I'm sure. I'm sure one of y'all were like Andrea. You're losing it. You're losing it. I mean, I guess if that's like the worst thing that happens in this spread for what we're trying to accomplish here, then you know, it could be worse. That. Pretty excited for um, Christmas though. I also like went through my kit lineup and I was trying to figure that out. And I feel like that's always just a real, real fun time trying to figure out like what Christmas kits I want to use. And actually, with me, like I separating like Halloween on the other week, I had like another spot for Christmas so that was kind of exciting to have another spot to do a Christmas kit so I think I pulled in like a cross press one obviously my whole kit lineup is like subject to change but also I feel like I feel like kind of confident in my choices so I'm excited about that I'm gonna try and make this just as straight as possible without having the side lines which shouldn't be too hard he shouldn't is it though we will see i can't believe i messed up that top box you know oh well and then another one oh, this is kind of cute little little thing here we're doing okay green okay, we'll have enough glitter adders so at least we got that going for us black purple and another purple okay save those bougies for later and then we are going to do, we have 15 millimeter, but I don't know what I want to do yet with that. So let's do the header overlays. And I do have date numbers from Hannah. And then afterwards, we're going to have to fix that tall box because it's not working for me. So let's do three. It's kind of nice about having the inserts that don't have the like days on them is you can kind of, if you want to do something weird. Is this the right dates? Yeah. If you want to do something weird, you can. You can do whatever weird stuff like this you want to do. I feel very weird doing it, but, you know, sometimes got to try something. And if it doesn't work, we just don't try it again. Is this the right? Yeah, because Ben's birthday is on a Monday. Okay, cool. Those look cute. I really like this font because it's, like, thick. So I can really see what's going on. So let's do Monday. Okay, I don't think I'm going to fit October of that, but that's okay. We know what, wait a minute, we know what month it is. Four feels weird five six i could put october on the other side and just be weird because we're already being weird maybe we'll kind of see what the mm, i don't know because i kind of feel like i kind of feel like i like it blank but that might be too much so maybe i'll just do a deco bit or something I'm not gonna use that box either so I'm like basically satisfied with how this went I'm gonna go ahead and try and fix this box up which shouldn't be too wild just got to make sure that the other ah backside wiggled that's okay worst nightmare would be that these break apart but I'm having I have a good feeling they're gonna be fine They're going to be curly. Very curly. 
fun. Okay, so basically, we just need to line this up kind of like that. I feel like they need a little drying time, but we ain't got time for that. And then we'll stick her down. And the worst case scenario, I could always lift this up and kind of shimmy it around. But it would have been cool if I thought about this the first time because it would have been 50 times easier than trying to do it this way. I have a tattoo appointment this week, which is really exciting. I'm going to get my, I guess it's kind of going to be a sleeve. I just talked to the guy today. Um, but it's going to be big. So, very excited for that. But it's not going to be done, I don't think, in one sitting. I think it's going to be probably, like, five. But I am excited. Let's see. It's of my fa one of my favorite things. So, you can have a guess. Maybe I already talked about it, but I don't think I did. Now I'm going to be ominous. Let's do... This is, like, work. Okay, let's do it this way. And then... Why couldn't you just do it right that first time? Let's do it. Like, no, nah, I'm going to have to do it this way and just hope for the best because that's not working. Okay, let's just, there's like just no way to like line up. I guess I could line up with the bottom washi and then just pull it down a little. Okay. She's going to need to be flattened. For sure. Let's hope for the best. Ugh. Let's just let her think about what she's done and see. Well, let's see if she's flat first. Yeah. Flat enough. So we're going to figure that out. Let's see what kind of deco bits we got to decorate the top area over there. See what we can do. Hmm. Maybe I will do October because I feel like some of these like little thingies would be cute but also I feel like I could do like a candelabra or even because there's no like I could do this one I kind of want to do this right and then maybe the October next to it I don't know like I feel like I could do this and then have October but also kind of depends I guess on what October I have and it'd have to be black because I don't have any red ones so the ones from my shop which I guess it's kind of smaller. Also, I one from Kane that's kind of skinny. So, like, if I did this, I could put the October. Cute, right? I kind of like it. Okay, let's do that. I got the tweezers in my mouth. Let's do the October first, and then I'll just stick the other one. So let's do October here. And let's do the little this here, because I didn't have the hand, so I think that that works. Should I do something on top of it, like flowers or something? Or should I, I think I'm just going to leave it. I think that that's kind of cute. Like simple, sometimes less is more type situation, and I think that this is where it's where I'm where I'm heading with that. Um, then. As far as other things, I do have, I don't know like what I want to use because I have like red in the like scripts I'm going to pull in. Otherwise, I'm just going to do black, but those won't be till later. And then as far as like other things, I don't know if I want to use blood drips. I feel like it's too like Disney cute for blood drips. So we're going to press hold on that. Glitter header overlays. I know for sure I want to use these. So let's put these down first and then kind of see where we're at with foil. Like, do I feel like this is enough? Do I feel like I need the glitter header overlays? Like, what's my purpose? That is very cool, in my opinion. I think this is a very cool spread. <gasps> Ugh. Ugh. I actually don't know if I want the glitter header overlays. I don't know. I don't think so. I think, I wish I had my bow in sparkly red because I feel like that would be the piece de la resistance to this 
situation. And the thing is, is I feel like I have to have it somewhere. Like, it had to have come in something. But I feel like I have, I have like, a, a stars. I have hearts. And then that's kind of about it. I don't have anything else in red. I feel like if I went to work, I probably would have something in, like, the old format in red. But I don't know. I just feel like my bow, like, it feels to me, maybe it's because it's my bow. I feel like it feels very, like, neutral. So, am I going to have enough of these? I feel like I should, right? I don't know. And then I'm not going to, under the extender, I'm not going to do it. Because I think that, like, whenever you're looking at the whole spread, it's fine. And if it bothers me, oh, well. Oh, well. I didn't plan this out. I think this is cute. I don't think I'm going to use the glitter header overlays. I think that this, plus some red scripts... And then some red overlays, I think, is going to be the move. I think if I was just using black bougie boxes, I would have did red glitter header overlays. But I think it's just, I don't know, I don't want to be too, I don't want to do too much red. And it start to get funky looking. This really needs to dry in place. I might need something smaller than a phone but heavy. That actually might work. Okay. Okay. This is cute. Yeah, I really wish I had red bottom washi. I feel like that would tie it together. I don't think I have a bag anywhere. Oh, I'm going to do one more quick. And I don't think Maggie had so, like she had, like red Christmas. I don't think she had red. Um, pixie red, what about regular red. <laughs> Leave her down. No, I don't think she had. It was just Christmas, I'm pretty sure. And like mistletoe or something. I don't remember. <gasps> Sad times. That's okay. So let's do the black bow. And like I said, I could just like steal the other strip. Because I feel like this needs like something. Let's see what she looks like in here. Just like some confetti bits. But I feel like they don't match the other confetti bits. I think we're going to just leave her. Just leave her. I do like this foil bundle though, and I do like the color. It's like a really pretty, like wine, -ish, wine blood, like red color, um, in the glimmer format. So I think I'm just gonna stick with just this. This is something though that if it bothers me, I can add later because I think that I'm pretty sure. Oh no 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 no! This happens when I talk. Um. I'm pretty sure that I, or when I ordered confetti, I ordered sparkly red. So I could always add like just that piece from there. That's like really wet. Later on, if I wanted to, when that comes in, I think it shipped all the confetti ones, and I ordered like thirty, I think, or over thirty. Yeah, thirty foil colors. Is it more than thirty. I don't remember. It was a lot. Whatever it was. This is going to be cute though. Okay. Cute. I think that that's nice and simple. Right? We're going to say yes. Then we, I'm going to, normally I would just do like whole reinforcers off camera, but I feel like for this spread in particular, I kind of want to see and gauge the amount of red that I'm putting on prior to, like, putting down the header overlay. Like, I'm, that's why I think, like, I'm not doing header overlays is because I'm seeing how much red I'm putting down and I'm like, hmm, maybe we should hold. I also want to get, like, this was, like, my, I think the most neutral of the, um, whole reinforcers whenever this. Like, I bought the, like, this whole reinforcer, but I like the confetti ones better. So, I need to pick up confetti ones in, like, some of the colors that I plan to use soon. 
from Hannah because they are very, very cute. But also I do have the like clear ones now, so I could always use those worst case if I'm just like not feeling any design in particular. And let's do this one. I think this just adds like a nice little bit of red. And the thing is also it's kind of hard I feel like to judge. And obviously I could change my mind after I see the full spread if I'm like, okay, I want to add the glitter header overlays because a lot of this red underneath is going to be covered up. So we'll kind of see like, you know, what what the situation is. Because it's always like easier to add more than take away, if that makes any sense. So we are going to have a little experience. But I, I, I don't, I'm not mad at the way that this spread is turning out, like with the little weird kind of doing two days for Sunday. I'm not mad about it. I feel like it looks cute. It doesn't look like, I think especially once everything's done, it doesn't really look any different. I feel like from any other spread, like if you were quick flipping, you would be like, what is that? All right, let's do the, I do want to use... I could use like a stroke on Oogie Boogie just to like have one. I feel like I just should use one. I can't really use like a ton of strokes in a, in one set. I just feel like it's too much. But I think like one or two would be okay. But I think like the rest of the boxes, the stroke would be kind of like inhibiting what we're trying to do. Then I'm going to use these, which I love because you can like just cut them up and like make whatever you want. So for example, I want one for a double box. So I'm just going to cut it in the middle yeah I think this is going to be the way to go over glitter header overlays and then for the tall box especially because it's like obviously a very weird size because we cut it funny to fit the area I'm going to do I'm just going to cut it in half Oops, it's a little crooked, but honestly, it's okay. It's clear. And then we're going to do this one. And then for up here, I don't think I want to do four on any of them. So for these ones, I'm just going to do like a corner, like two corners. So I'm going to just take one corner. And I think Hannah does have them now that you can order them in like alternating corners. Or you could just do this, whatever you want. Then we're just gonna take the other corner and stick that there and then down here I'm basically just gonna do whatever I can to avoid their heads as much as possible like covering their face so we're gonna do one on this side and then this side and then a pose to the whatever I did to um, not cover their head. And look, I only used four and a stroke box and I covered all of the boxes. So, so the other thing is, is if you have any older foil bundles or foil bundles that don't have enough boxes, you could always kind of like, especially the ones that have like all four corners, you could always take those and, you know, really extend the bundle if you need extra boxes. It's kind of like one of those things like, you gotta work with what you got. And if you really like a foil bundle, we're going to work with it and make it what we want. So there's that one. And then the last box. Also been reading a lot. I don't really know what to talk about because it's what's consumed a lot of my time. First of all, I we went to Book People, which is a um, Austin bookstore that's downtown by the Whole Foods like um by waterloo i don't even know what street that is tbh but it's a big 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 super cute bookstore and i got chocolate bars i'm pretty pumped about it and some books but i was pretty excited about the chocolate bars because my favorite chocolate bars are chow chow it's ch i don't know how it's chow c h a o u so good and they had one left of the potato chip one which is my second favorite and then the firework one is my top favorite so i got those now i'm like do i want to just do it the little head or overlays um but anyways i just finished the perfect marriage which was like the book club 
book of the month. I don't know. I kind of feel like it might look fire with the glitter and overlays. I think I might just save it. And then if I feel like it needs more red, I'll add these at the end. It'll be kind of like, we'll see how much pops through. My finished perfect marriage. And oh my God, I love that book. I love that book. Five out of five. Not like it's so good. And let's just get in. Hold on me. Okay. So that book was so stinking good. I was like obsessed. And then I was like, wait a second. Am I going to be like a little like whodunit suspense thriller mystery gal like is this gonna be my new thing because I enjoyed it so I bought a bunch of books that Kirsten was like talking about because like Kirsten seems like the queen of the of the mystery thriller suspense things and spooky stuff as well I got a bunch of books that she like recommended on her videos because now I am in it to win it but yeah, I've just been enjoying life. And Nick's been reading with me too. It's been like really fun time. He's reading about like quantum physics though. Like not just saying that just because it just sounds like, oh, he's reading about smart stuff. No, he's literally reading about quantum physics and just, he's explaining it to me. And I'm like, I don't know. He's like, if there was two timelines and one thing was in one timeline in a different universe and it disappeared and then the other one would disappear. Isn't that crazy? And I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> mm. Bless him though. He's, he's trying to further his brain. Me? Not so much. So on Monday, um, Theo had a doctor appointment. I don't remember for what. And these kids are always going to the dang doctors. So we're going to stick that in. Feels weird. This feels very weird. But, you know, here we are. I had lunch with Kirsten. We got Jinya. So basically me and Kirsten are like, um, I was like, so one of my, um, such, I'm such a cheese ball. One of my like New Year's sort of, it was like a mid New Year's choice, I guess. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll remove this. So I like market this for work, not Jinya today. Um, one of my New Year's resolutions was one of the many. There's a lot this year. There's a lot of resolutions going around. Um, was to like spend more time with friends and like things and also kind of, that's going into next year too because I'm I'm going to see a lot of my like non-local friends like um I already booked a flight to go see Marg um which I haven't seen Marg since 2019 which is just way too long because she's one of my besties and I'm gonna go to Kane's house for the first time um going on a Disney trip with Hannah. I am. Me and Kane are doing. I think we're doing Vegas as our friend trip for next year. Um, I'm going to New York to see. Which I already like picked the weekend to see Brie and Jessica of Jaker Plans. Oh my gosh, that's very cute. Um, also, I love these. I have a coupon code with planning it down below, and I feel like I don't even need to like say much past that because it's just like go do it because it's so good and I love these custom multis and like I just basically have all the things that I do and like the most and then I have them for the spread and the fun color so work but anyways that's been my new year's resolution of sorts mid new year's resolution so then I um so I was like, all right, Kirsten, like we need to get on some kind of schedule because Kirsten's a very, very busy lady. Um, I feel like I have this with T, but I feel like I would need to move that in. So maybe I should just do like Theo because I feel like it's bigger. I feel like I shouldn't move that in just kind of in general, but let's try and move it in or try to turn it. But anyway, I was like, all right, Kirsten, how are we going to do this? And she's like, well, why don't we just do like, like when I'm already at work then I can just, like, you're at work, and then we could just, like, go to lunch, and I was, like, wow, what a genius plan, like, honestly, wouldn't even thought of it myself, so that's what we did, and then we're, like, I think we both probably would fall into ruts of just picking the same places, so we took all of the restaurants at the, I think there was one I left out, because I was, like, I don't want to eat there, um, and put them, like, and I didn't think her someone either, either, but, uh, and I couldn't even tell you what it was, so then I need a ramen sticker, where did I find a ramen sticker? Okay, so we put them in a, in a um, not a hat, but I have a mug. I like had her cut them on the silhouette and we put them in a mug and 
I am just a picky little ramen girl. I just love my my um, ramen Tatsuya. And I, the last, I had, I've had Jinya a, a, a few times. I would say four times in my Austin lifetime. And I have never been thoroughly thrilled. But I always got, and I think it's because it's like, isn't it, I think it's like what people go there for possibly, maybe? Or like it was... I don't know. I feel like there's a reason why I bought this because otherwise I don't know why I got it. But I always got the chicken broth ramen and I like don't know why I always did. So this time when I went in, I was like actually looking at the menu and I was like, oh, they have like, I don't know. I'm going to butcher the name. Is it like tonk, tonk, tonkatsu, tonk something? I don't know. It's like the pork. Is it pork broth? I don't know. Anyways, and they had like a spicy one, which was not spicy, but it was good. And the noodles are different in that one. They're like chewier, which is my preference in noodles or it's chewy noodles. So I was like actually like happy with it. It's funny because she like pulled out and she's like, do you want to do this? Actually, we pulled out a Thai place first and she's like, I'm not hungry for Thai. And I was like, well, we could eat that next time or a different time. But yeah, she was like, do you want Jinya? Because she knows that that's like one of my, I just don't like Jinya. But I tried it again. I tried something different and I liked it. Would I pick it over Ramen Tatsuya? No. But in a pinch, and I'm in the area, ramen tatsu is a little bit farther away. I would I would eat there if I was hungry for ramen. Because also there's not a ton of ramen places in Austin. There is, but not. So, and I like soup. So then, so we went to Jinya after work. And then, which I actually need to schedule. Like, Kirsten, if you're watching this, which I know, like, this is going to go up late for me. You're going to watch this late. And then we're going to be in January by the time this all happens. We need to book another date. Um, so then I went to H-E-B with Nick and Lila. I actually, like, could go to H-E-B, like, today. I, like, need to go grocery shopping, but, you know. You know. Then I had a really bad period, which I actually just got over a period, which was also quite bad. I just feel like ever since Lila, I'm fully blaming it on Lila, um, my periods have just been horrible. Did I not, like, do a script for this? I don't know what my plan was, but we're just going to stick that in. Ugh, I think I am going to end up doing the glitter head overlays. That's my thought process right now. We will see towards the end if I decide yes or no. Then I also did a tread workout. Oh, well. I haven't been on the tread, I'm not going to lie, y'all, in, like, since before Disney. So, yeah, I've been really, really bad. But I'll get back on it. I actually did get rid of my, um, this is so cute. Such a cute spread. I got rid of my Peloton bike. I was very conscious of my habits, and I just rented it, thankfully. We bought the tread. I do love the tread. I just need to, like, I'm like a kind of person that if my work and everything else is like not ahead, then I can't focus on anything else despite the fact that I could also work out and work at the same time. But right now I'm just like tired. So that's my excuse for right now. We'll get back to it. So for HEB, I am going to use a little grocery cart. I think I should be using the red ones, but then I feel like maybe then there would be too much red. So I'm actually just going to put the red icons... Well, maybe there's something that's not on the doodles that I might want them for. But I also have some, like, spooky things. So, we'll keep this out, too. I don't know. So, for H-E-B, I think I have H-E-B stickers. Um, I don't have, like, with N and T. I could, or N and L. I could do, like, some little surgery and do with L. With N. And then we're going to do something even weirder with N. And then we're going to take this little slash. We're going to cut it in half. And then we're going to make a little plus sign. It's like Photoshop in real life. Look at me go. Look at me go. So cute. Then I have my bad period, which I don't remember, like, what the plan was. Like, what was the plan that I decided not to, to like... Mm, 
Nope. Um, how about like a WTF script, which I have from Carla Plans, which I have a lot of these because it's a very, very short little thing. I don't even have like a period sticker or like a blood drop sticker. Wait, there's got there's one in here, isn't there? Like a pad or something. Do 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 do. We're gonna be here a minute. Especially with the glitter. I feel like I'm like can't compute glitter. I found her. She's on page six. Okay. We needed this. It's a little bit I usually use like mini icons. But it's not horrible. It's not horrible. I feel like I could also zoom you in a little more. Um, and then let's just finish this up. And then I need to take a little break because my camera is like, Andrea, I'm hot. Leave me alone for a little bit. let to tread. And then I just put in that I, could, I like exercised like to specifically complete my rings, which is weird because normally I just complete them and like don't worry about it. But this I was like, I gotta complete my rings. So we are exercising right now. And for that, I think I'm just going to use, because I don't have like an icon for that or anything. Let's do the little, I don't know, candle. Sure. Super cute. Okay. Pausing. I'm not sure if this thing's 100% cooled down, but I also think I need to wash my water cup. You all ever get to that point where you're like, you need, you need to wash now. I feel like that's usually like after three days, it's like, mm, it's really not in, hit in the same way anymore. It needs a wash. Okay. On Tuesday, I had coffee, which is boring, but here we are. Yeah, I don't know. This water's not doing it for me. Also, um, I so what I normally do for water is I will do, let's say, like 80 to 90% water and then 10 to 20 percent vitamin water zero and i ordered it for i don't know i think maybe target curbside and i just need to stop doing it because they always give me regular vitamin water not the zero and i do not like the taste of the regular vitamin water but i figure i'm like you know whatever i'm not gonna like return it so i um, like just drink it, but it's just, it doesn't taste the same. It just tastes horrible to me. I like the zero. I've been drinking the zero for forever, uh, of triple X and it's just, it's not a vibe. Then I wanted to put in that I did just kind of like hang out with Lila this day. Love that kid. She is the cutest. And then also that I had McDonald's for lunch. Usually whenever I have my period, I get in like an emotional sad time. And McDonald's is my only hope. So, yeah. McDonald's. That's right that. And McDonald's has got to be on here, right? Yep. McDonald's is my comfort foods. And then for hanging out with Lila, I'm just going to do one of these cute little like Halloween stickers. I'm trying to finish up some of them. I'm going to do the little poison. Super cute. And the Lila sticker. See how many of these I'm using and I'm only like two days in or like a day and a half in. Then down here, I'm like, I'm like excited for this spread though. Like it do like being something different. Um, then I finished Ugly Love, which, oh my God, I think it's, I think it's the, my least favorite book out of all of the books I have read thus far in my little baby reading journey. Ugly Love is my least favorite. Um, I'll probably end up doing like some kind of book video review situation. I made, and I wanted to do, a, I wanted to do it like a monthly thing, but maybe like for my catch up, I'll just do it since the beginning of my like journey. But Ugly Love trash hated it and I loved what Kirsten said about ugly love she said it at um Bennett's party and she also said it in her um in her like book review of like when she read it is that she feels like it's very much so like Colleen Hoover is hyped up like the 50 shades of gray franchise was like years ago and then also I agree that I think 50 shades of gray had more like 
beef to the story, which I don't think there's much beef at all in that story, but Ugly Love was, oh God, it was just not a good time. And I feel like after I read Ugly Love, I read like a bunch of books and like, I don't even think that they were like phenomenal, but they just felt phenomenal because of how bad Ugly Love was. So there's that. Um, so I, I finished Ugly Love this day and I also listened to it through an audiobook, which was probably also not the greatest choice for like what it's, the whole situation is. Um, then I put in my neck hurt this day really bad and it was, it was different than it normally is, which was weird because normally it hurts in the same spot, but this time it did not. It was, so which was very weird because it was like in the back versus like one of my, I think it's usually my left side. So that was kind of strange, but you know, oh, I was just kind of like crumbling at all times. Let's use a little label here. I need to use more of the ones that are like this so that I could see what's underneath. So for watching, I don't think I said by watching Jersey Shore, let me some Jersey Shore. I just put up the video today. Is today Monday? I don't know. It's been a long day. Um, for I reformatted GTL, which was such a fun kid. And it was like, you know, I do really like Jersey Shore, obviously, or, you know, but I do think that just like hits, like the colors are really fun in it. So, and it made like a really pretty spread when I was like looking back at my spread. So Jersey Shore and that my neck really hurts. So I have a neck pain sticker and then I think I'm going to use something from, oh, we use the like little Grim Reaper guy in there. I actually have two tattoo appointments this this month, which I'm very excited about. I think for the longest time, like, I wanted to get tattoos, but I couldn't find somebody I really liked. And, like, I, like, bunkered down, hunkered down, and I found a bunch of different people that I really like. So, the Disney Castle person, I want one person. I probably won't ever get a tattoo by them again. Um, they were really good. They just changed their style, and their new style is, like, not something I like, um, which is sad because I probably would have gotten, like, many more tattoos from them because I just feel like they were super fast, very organized situation, and very talented, but like I said, not my style anymore, which is fine, but I found two, well, the one that Nick did Nick's tattoo is the one that's doing mine this week, and then I'm getting a tattoo at the very end of the month, and that's by somebody different who does, like, cute tattoos, and I am so excited about it because it is another Disney one, but it's, like, Disney Christmas, and I'm so excited, and it's very, like, you just tell her and she just kind of like goes with it and like you don't know till day of. So that's like kind of nerve wracking, but also like I just don't care too much. So I feel like I'm the perfect person for that type of situation. So on Wednesday, Nick had to get up really early because this is the day that Theodore got his um, tubes, like his ear tubes in. Um, I guess that's the best way to say it is got his tubes in. Um, so for that, I am going to use this green box. I'm going to cut it, right? What does it look like on my thing? Theo, there's just like tubes. I should put these in order. Yeah, it's kind of a weird. Maybe I'll just do this one. But Theo got tubes in his ears because he was on his, like, I think his fourth because he just gotten an ear infection then oh this is what happened this day so he over the weekend he, it's weird because like with how many ear infections he's had um actually do I, I don't know if i want to do like that green next to each other i'm just gonna do this down here with um how many ear infections he's had he doesn't even really like act like if you saw him you wouldn't really be really concerned you wouldn't be like oh he's sick but he had just like some symptoms that made us be like, he might have an ear infection. Like he doesn't say his ear hurts, he didn't have a fever, but we just like have this like feeling that he has an ear infection. So basically we just were like, we're just gonna take him to the doctor and they confirmed that he had a severe, another severe ear infection. But, and we were just mostly concerned, like is he still gonna be able to get his tubes? Like, is it going to be a problem? You know, like what's the sitch? And they said it's fine because like, you know, most of these kids who get tubes in their ears just, like, constantly have them. Like, they don't even get relief. So, it was fine. So, he just did, um, like, antibiotics for these days. Um, which also, he's allergic to amoxicillin and the penicillins. So, and then, like, the uh, one of the other ones just doesn't really work for him. So, like, he had, like, 
he's like deep in the like ear infection medicine of like what can work for him. It's like not like not the preferred. So it's a thing. So since he's gotten his tubes on the fifth, he has not gotten an ear infection, which this is the longest like amount of time that he hasn't gotten an ear infection, which is amazing. Uh, and also just makes his like little like viruses and stuff way more manageable because he just gets like a runny nose. And it's not like a runny nose that we are like, oh, he probably also has a severe ear infection as well. So it's been very nice since he got it and it was like super fast and like we had no complications, which was awesome. So for that, I think I'm going to use like the little like test tube because like, I don't know, that just seems like it makes sense in my brains. Um, so yeah, I didn't take Theo because I am very emotional and dramatic and I am not good at hospitals and doctor's offices and stuff and Nick is very like calm put together cool and me I'm just not so Nick took him um and then this morning like Theo or Bennett heard Theo and Nick leaving so um he came downstairs like really early and I was like babe it's like not time for you to go to school so you have to go to bed and he's like I don't want to go to bed and I was like, all right, well, you can just lay in my bed then. And then, like, I look over, like, five minutes later, and he is conked. So then I went back to being conked. And then all three of us and Lila was asleep in her room, slept in. It was great. Then by the time we were waking up, they were done and on their way home. So um, I just cuddled Theo all day, basically, because he was just a little kind of sad boy. So for that, I am going to do a with tea sticker. Look at me. Look at me using all these. I am pumped i think i have maybe too many workouts on here though because that's being ambitious then down here um i put up put up lights oh i had already decorated the outside for halloween but i was waiting for lights to come in so i ordered them on time it's just they like didn't come correctly on time so actually i'm gonna put that in because i need to put in handmaids i'm not gonna put hannah came over because did i do a dq in arby's uh, no i feel like my brain just cannot comprehend things no so i'm not gonna put in that i am just gonna put in put up lights hannah was over in handmaid's tail so for handmaid's tail i'm just gonna use a little thing because that just seems to make the most sense so one two three handmaid's tail is getting so good so 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 good um yeah it's just it's a good one we're gonna put like a little play button and then an h for handmaids i have with hannah what i want to use i know she made me I need to put her on my like little custom sheet because I see Hannah every week. So I feel like it would be beneficial to do so. So handmaids, um, Hannah over and put up lights. So I think I'm going to use, I wish I had a with H. I feel like that would be cute too. Put up lights. I really love this box. Like I really want to use it, but I don't want to use it right this second do this and then above it I'm going to do this looks cute right so for with Hannah I have friend stickers I'm gonna need more of these I'm blowing through them oh god turn the sheet around this cutie right here Actually, I think it'd be cute. I don't think I, did I go on a date this week? I don't think I did. Did I? No. Right? No. I mean, kind of, but not really. So I'm going to just take the little date. It's a Frandy date. Cute. And I got night. We'll just save night just in case we need it, but I don't think I need it. And then above that, I put up my lights. So... I don't know. Oh yeah, I have like a little light sticker. Lights. And then I think I'm gonna use a little, just like a little balloon, I guess, for my Halloween lights. Then on 
Thursday, I had a hair appointment and lashes and I went to Target. It was a busy day getting ready for Disney. So I think I'm gonna use this for my hair appointment. And then I'm gonna use um, like one of these cute little ones. Oh, I have an eyelash sticker too that I wanted to use. So cute. Cute, cute, cute for lashes. And then I also went to Target, which I think I'm just gonna put in in a little thing. I feel like I would have opted in to doing like sprinkling in the red. I think that I would have been solid, but I think I'm going to end up doing the red glitter header overlays. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to. I feel like a lot of the red is covered up, but also maybe like maybe there'll be enough of the like red scripts. So for my lashes, I'm going to go to my sampler and I have a lash appointment on there that I'm going to use. Actually, do I have lashes? No, because it's not something I do every week. So we're just going to do lash appointment. I'm just going to cut off and just do lash. And then I also had a hair appointment. So for hair, I'm going to do, I think there's like, I didn't get my hair cut though. I got my hair colored. Is there like a, there's got to be like the hair coloring in here, right? takes me a minute to get through these. Oh, here it is, the red. Just got my normal thing done. And then I'm just gonna grab the hair appointment, which is also on my sample. I have hair, nail, and lashes. And I feel like if you don't do appointments, like I don't do nail appointments, I'm just gonna probably eventually just like cut the nail part off, and I think that that'll work. And then for going to Target with Nick and Lila, I actually did make um, little with N and L's. Obviously I wanted to use the red one before, but this is like a little thing. So we'll do that. And then I'm just gonna use the little grocery cart on there. Then if we move down, um, I did take a bath and a nap this day. I don't know why. I think I just wasn't feel. Oh, I think maybe it was the period. I don't know. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and stick that in. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use one of these like this for a nap. I think I'm gonna use the little. Um, I can just do this for a bath. I mean, it could be for really either, and then just stick that in the middle. So I should probably put down the other fan sleeve I'm going to use on top. Let's do the light purple. And then the, the sticker here. So cute. So I guess we'll do... Hmm. nap and bath. I don't think I have either of them on these. So we're just going to use black ones. So nap I have from Carly Plans. I'll put that in here. And then for bath, I think I have bath bomb stickers on the red. I usually try and use up the ones on the doodle sampler first and then um, move into the color of the week or whatever I pick out. So I have bath from Carly as well. Then underneath, I did get a Whataburger milkshake. So I don't know like I have a milkshake. I think I have a Whataburger bag sticker under fast food, right? I think so. I have so many bags. Do, 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 do. Whataburger. It's orange, but I feel like 
it's kind of iconic to Whataburger. I don't know if I did multicolor ones of that one. Let's do this. I think Whataburger milkshakes are fire. I just took a break to eat a Lean Cuisine pizza because my day's been weird food-wise, so I'd rate it a 2 out of 10. But I put a lot of red pepper flakes on it, so I guess it, like, helped it a little bit. Um, also, I dumped my water and put, like, vitamin water zero in it, and I can confirm that it's not the cup. It's the vitamin water, so very excited to have water that's drinkable now. Not that it wasn't drinkable, but it was kind of gross. So... On Friday, I like am like very happy with the way that this is turning out. I'm just like, wow, she cute, she beautiful. On Friday, we had Monument for breakfast. I don't remember why. I think we just wanted to go out to breakfast, and that's what happens. That's what happens. I also have some new mini icons coming out soon, which I'm very excited about. Um. So stay tuned for that. I had them commissioned and there's some real cute ones. I was like, what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? I don't think, I wonder if I'm going to order them at the time this video is up. But if you could think of anything else you would like, like popularly would need, let me know. Because I probably could add, but also I'm not sure. I don't remember my math. But if there's anything that you're like, wow. Andrea, why don't you have this on a sampler? I'm not doing like a ton. I'm probably just going to do like one more like this kind of size. Let me know in the comments down below. <clears throat> but yeah, so like space on it is limited, but we will see. Then um, for Bennett's birthday, we saw somebody else, so like another kid, had like an ice icy truck come to the school. And I thought that that was cool. So we did that for Bennett too so this day we went and I didn't get an ice but Nick wanted to get an ice so that was something fun so we just wrote in b-day treat and we got to like see some of the kids in his class and just have a good old time um and Theo too then um I went to work do I have enough room for a flag or no I've been marking with those like circle boxes gotta remember my ways remember what I'm currently doing so for work I needed to go to print orders for Kirsten to fill on Monday basically on this day I put up a note on the website that was basically like if you place an order it won't ship till we get back though that's like still within the I don't think I have another work sticker on here there might be one on here um yeah I, so within the two week processing time, I just wanted to put it in because usually if you order from us, you know that we ship. Basically, I either print labels on Sunday or Monday and that's still like from that Wednesday. Well, like from the week before whenever we printed them. I print them once a week and then they're dropped like two days later usually after Kirsten packs them. So I bulk print them, Kirsten bulk pulls and packs them and then we drop them off and it's like an every week thing so usually there's not like you know nine days in between so in between printing orders so that was that um so I went to work to print the like remaining orders and then I was like well while I'm down in the areas should I get anything food wise and Nick was like yeah go get um flower child so I did. Yep. I love Flower Child. So I was very excited to get it. They also, they have this. I love like, I've got everything that I've gotten, I've loved. But in particularly, they have this like, it's like a cupcake muffin thing. And it's like olive oil and olive oil. I don't know what even flavor it is. But there's olive oil and like lemon maybe cupcake. It's not a cupcake. It's like a muffin. Because it doesn't have icing or anything. But it is so good. All I remember is the olive oil part. But it's just like very moist. And I think it might be like gluten free or vegan or both. I don't remember. But it's so good. So I wanted to get one of those as well. So I got that. And then I did pack for um, Disney this day. I definitely left it to very last minute. Um, just apparently the way that I'm living my life now. So we packed 
and that's very crooked, but I'm just gonna leave it because I don't care. And then afterwards, um, Lila was like sick and we were like, oh dear, like what does this mean? Because we're supposed to be leaving for Disney. So basically she just had like these couple of like spit up kind of moments. And I was messaging Marg's sister, who's a doctor, and I was like, I don't know. Like, she has no other symptoms besides um, just, like, spitting up randomly. And, yeah, it was just weird. So, basically, she was like, it's probably just, like, a 24-hour bug. Just, like, see if she, like, spits up any more. Because it was just, like, a little bit. And she was, like, more, like... It's more like she was, like, coughing slash hacking on, like, phlegm. And, like, she would cough and then she would throw up, not throw up, but, like, spit up because there's a difference on the phlegm. So we just were like, okay, we'll just kind of play it by ear, basically. And then we, like, we decided that since this was, like, Bennett's trip for his birthday, that worst case scenario, if she, like, got worse, like, got a fever, like, any other symptoms or whatever, that Nick and... Lila and Theo would probably just stay home and then I would just take Bennett um but she ended up not throwing up again until Sunday night and she just threw up once and then I don't think she threw up then ever again afterwards so she didn't throw up through the night Friday Saturday at all and then Sunday she threw up like in the evening but again, it was the same thing where she was like laying down and like coughing on, I think it was like phlegm. And then she like kind of like gagged on it and spit up a little. So that's what we think was the situation because she had no other symptoms. So we were like, do we go? Do we not go? What if we go and it gets worse and stressing out? But stress out for nada. But I'm just going to do the little, um, the little like coffin box because I was feeling very stressed out. Obviously, with kids, it's just, like, the way that it goes, so we were prepared to figure it out, but we are told that it's probably fine, so put that in. Then on Saturday, we got up early, and my in-laws actually came with us to Disney, so they came over in the morning, and we need to put in, <clears throat> first of all, the flight I don't think I have like I mean I guess I could just do um let's just work our way from here up so for the flight I'm just gonna use the little star and I'm gonna do the AUS to MCO that I made myself for Austin to Orlando then um we had a well prior to that we had a delay which was really obnoxious, especially with kids. Like, it just sucks when there's a delay. I don't really even think that I, I don't even think, oh yeah, I did make one. So, it sucks when there's a delay because I feel like kids kind of like, at least mine have, or like kind of like a ticking time bomb almost, where you don't really know what's going to happen at any moment. So, I'm going to use a trash can because it's kind of, it was trash. But, I feel like on the way there, my kids were actually pretty good. Um... The way back had a little rough patch with Theo, but because he was just kind of over it and tired, I think, from the whole like trip. But we had to wait over two hours, which was just not fun. But we did get breakfast. We got salt lick. We got the kids got breakfast tacos and we got a breakfast burrito. And we do love salt lick. I feel like the thing is, is we always end up getting salt lick only like at the airport. I'm just going to use the little coffee cup because it was, like, breakfast time. Um, we only ever get Salt Lake at the airport. And I feel like we don't even live that far. There's, like, two different Salt Lakes. We don't live that far from a Salt Lake. I feel like we just never go. And also, when it comes to, like, I like their breakfast food. I don't think they have breakfast food at the actual Salt Lake. But um, I feel like their, I like their pulled pork sandwich. Barbecue's life in, in in Texas. Um, I like their pulled pork sandwich, but I do not really like their sides. So I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like I never really want to go because I'm like, I'm just going to get a pulled pork sandwich. Okay, cool. Sounds fun. So that. And then, oh wait, that's not, oh gosh, that was for my in-laws coming. I don't need that. 
But yeah, so I usually just get Salt Lake at the airport. But also there's a lot of good places at the Austin airport because they only have, besides Starbucks, they only have like local restaurants and they have like quite a few. Should have used the white one, but you know, here we are. Um, I didn't even do, I guess I could do like in-laws. Um, so there's quite a few different places to eat, but I feel like the taco places are the easiest, I think. Can't think of one of the other taco places had also had breakfast tacos, but we're salt like breakfast taco people um then uh we got there and we had some time to kill before we could go to the airbnb which this was our first time ever staying at an airbnb for disney and i just wouldn't recommend it it was obviously like made more sense money wise since there was like a bazillion of us but otherwise just not a vibe it was just like way harder to do everything and everything took way more time and I mean there was definitely its perks but we had like drama which we'll get into when we get there but um, not with Airbnb but there was a little drama with the Airbnb there but it was like it could have been worse so like the neighbors and it's in like a no party HOA community like none not even like oh till 10 no no partying and on our last night there, which we we're all trying to get sleep, the neighbors were blasting music so loud you could hear it in the entire house. And I travel with sound machines, still could hear it. I had to sleep with um, AirPods on and I called like the security and they came and told them to turn the music off because it was literally bumping. And it was like 12 and three o'clock, they still had it on. And then they shut it off. And then as soon as security left, they turned it back on. And I was like, well, this is, this is gonna be a long one. But thankfully it was like, it's not like, oh, when we got there, we had, like, the six days of, like, dealing with this. And thankfully, my kids, like, slept. So, that's, like, also a pro. It wasn't, like, they didn't, they, like, couldn't sleep because of it. It was just me and, like, my in-laws who couldn't sleep. Nick can sleep through anything. Um, but, yeah, that was, like, kind of annoying. And then we'll get into the other drama, which was based more on the car than the thing. But we'll, we'll say that for next week because it was gross. Um... But anyways, yeah, we stayed off property, which I probably wouldn't ever do again unless I was doing like a big group again. But even then, I'm just like, I just like staying on property. I feel like it has so many perks, like being able to get in 30 minutes earlier to even if it's just like the certain part of the like park area. Um, the transportation, like you don't have to worry about then about like car seats and stuff. Like it's just, it's, it's just way easier, um, especially with kids too. So Anyways, all this to say that we went to Wawa, which we haven't been to a Wawa since, Pen like, we've been to Pennsylvania, but Pennsylvania, like, has Wawa's. We don't have Wawa's in Texas, but apparently there's Wawa's in Florida. So, we saw that there was a Wawa, which is just, like, a fancy, not even really, it's, like, just, like, a gas station that has made to order food. So, we stopped there on the way because we had some time to kill. We also hit up um, Target for, like, all the things that we needed for the kids and, like, food and stuff and, like, all this, this stuff. Then Brie got here because we did this vacation trip with my in-laws and then also my best friend from high school, Brie, and her husband, Bruce, and then their daughter, Denver. So, Brie came and then we did a Target run for all of the supplies. But yeah, it was, I mean, overall, great trip. Um, just, like I said, would not stay off property. Also, Florida drivers, like I feel like... I am from Pennsylvania where I was, I went to Jersey a lot. I drew, I drove in New York a lot. I drove in Pennsylvania, like tri-state. And I feel like those drivers are very aggressive. And then when I moved here, um, I miss the aggressive drivers. Cause I feel like in Texas, it's a lot of like California moved here. And it's a lot of like, don't use turn signals. You kind of got to like watch, watch yourself, watch out for yourself more. But in Florida, that was scary. I feel like I was always about to die, basically. And I feel like it was just like everyone just ran stop signs and ran. And I think it's a lot because it's a lot of tourists. But it was just actually terrifying. Terrifying, terrifying, terrifying. So for Brie, I'm going to use this little ghosty. Brie loves Halloween. She, but I think it's she loves Halloween because of Halloween Oreos. I think that's the only reason Brie likes Halloween. And then for Target Run, I'm just going to use like this little candy apple because I'm just trying to use up some of this sheet so for um Brie I got this with Brie sticker 
And then for Target Run, I probably have right here on this one. This is like the, I don't know, I think she did it like once. It was like the top selling scripts of its time or something like that. Then we're moving on to the big old long day. I actually, I forgot to put in that um, Ben and Nick went to the neighbors for like a play date, but it's fine. It's fine. Also, did I finish the Simple Wild? I think that's for next week. So I have to remember to say that. So on Sunday, one thing that was cool is we got to go to the transportation station. And on this day, the monorail is down, which how you're thinking like, okay, that sounds great. But we took the ferry. And I think that that was actually a very fun thing to do was to take the ferry. I don't know. If you've never done it, I mean, like I had no reason to do it previously. I didn't know it was like really an option, but I guess also you could get the ferries from other places, but I really liked it. I thought it was relaxing. It was quite quick. Um, yeah, I just feel like that was like probably the one thing that I liked the most about staying off property was riding the ferry. But like I said, I think you get the ferry from other places too, other like hotels. So we did that and then we went to, oh my goodness, no. I totally forgot that I was doing a colorful foil. Am I doing a colorful foil next week too? No, it's sparkly hollow, thank gosh. Okay, so I might actually have some that I'm not gonna have the scripts for simply because I thought, I didn't realize I was doing like a color and I wouldn't have the things I need. So I need a magic cane. I might need to add a bunch actually, a lot. Ugh, well, we're just gonna leave them blank so and I also don't have like icons for those because normally I would just use the like Disney icons okay well we're just gonna work with what we got we're just gonna figure it out so so um we're gonna stick that in we're gonna stick that in and then this one and then I guess I'll just add the scripts later but that's fine I mean it could be worse so for going to Magic Kingdom, I have some, this is like page one is always the like Disney ones. So we'll do that one. And then for these, so it was, we went on G Disney, so Magic Kingdom. Then we decided to rope chop Jungle Cruise and I was so mad. I'm actually going to use this RIP because Grandpa almost got RIP'd because we lost him. He had Theo and we lost him. I was like, Grandpa, you got to follow me. And he, granted, he's never been to Disney. He's never been anywhere besides like Dorney Park. Um, actually, I don't know if he's been to Dorney Park. He probably has only been to Knoebels, which is even smaller. Um, but we lost him and I was like, this ride, like the wait goes up to like 60 minutes and like 10 minutes. We need to like go, blah, blah, blah. And we lost him. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. But it was fine. I, I was like very mad, but then I apologized. And I was like, it's fine, it's fine. But I was just like, how? Then we went on Jungle Cruise. And I really don't know what my plan is for the stickers for these because I don't have anything. I guess I could actually just pull some things from here. So for pirates it was actually we did have like a genie plus which i do believe in genie plus so we're gonna go ahead and stick that in there we're just gonna add those scripts later then um my father-in-law i don't remember what we were going on something what were we going on i don't remember but he took theo on the uh many adventures of winnie the pooh so i'm gonna put that in there and then we went on the teacups. So we're going to stick at that. We had lunch at, is it like pet, Pecco Bills or Pesco Bills? Pex, Pesco? Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's delicious. It was actually my father-in-law's favorite meal. It is quite good. I think for a quick service, it's one of my favorites. Afterwards, we went on Haunted Mansion. I feel like we did a lot this day. Then we went on Barnstormers, which was Theo's technically his first roller coaster. How cute. I don't think he's a big roller coaster guy. Bennett's my roller coaster guy. Then um, for these, I don't really know what I'm going to put in. We'll go through and look at like stickers. And I just need to actually make sure if I have enough 
little things for this this quest here I'm I'm trying to do. But I have these I could like trim and I have things I can trim if I need to, but we're gonna try and see what we can do. So then um, we got, um, I need to do five. So we're just gonna do five. So I only have one of these left. So let's try and use up things that I have a lot of. So one, I'll explain what we're doing whenever I see if I have any like cute icons that I can think of. If not, I'm just gonna be figuring out. Honestly, it should be cute. I bet you Hannah could is to do like a couple hearts, like a small hearts on here. Like as like to have for like little like mini icons. I feel like a little heart or a little star would be cute to have like on there. Um, I could also actually trim these down too if I wanted to or needed to, you know what I mean? Because a lot of these that have five, I feel like five, the right combo is little things. I think it's kind of only the only combo really. And then we'll do another black one. See, like, that just fits perf. And then this one is going to, well, actually, I can space it out a little bit because I have more room down here. So maybe I start from the bottom and see, like, what I can do larger. So I have, er, actually, I don't know if I could do it that way. Uh, yeah, let's see. So one, two, three. And then this one only needs four. So this one I put in Date with Nick. And I really just love this pattern. I think it's so fun. So I'm going to do this. So basically we did did all of this in the morning. And then we went to, um, so I'm, uh, we'll go through that. We'll go through that. So then we did all that in the morning. And then we went back to the, the house. And then Nick and I did like a little Magic Kingdom date, which was super, super fun. I might actually... I think I have room to put in going back to Magic Kingdom with a like, um, like a label and then doing, um, what did we do? We did, oh, we went to Sleepy Hollow and got a funnel cake and then the spicy chicken waffle thing, which was really good. The funnel cake was the best. I just like think funnel cake is just so good. And then basically we did Tom Sawyer's Island. We did a bunch of stuff that we never did before which was kind of fun we just that was kind of like our goal for this night was to do a bunch of stuff we didn't ever do so we did that we played with those like laser gun things like no i'm not quite out there um i think that i have to though right yeah just do it like those like laser guns where you like shoot the stuff and it like makes you know what i'm talking about oh no i call i call it pew pew then we did the Country Bear Jamboree. So I think I'm going to use a little bit of a bigger box for that because that was actually really funny. i never done that before. So let's do this one. Country Bear Jamboree. Then, um, it's crooked. Okay, Country Bear Jamboree. We did Space Mountain. Or Space Mountain, I'm just going to use a bigger one. Let's see. Let's do the black one for Space Mountain. Then I put in that I was stressed because Brie texted me that, because, like, they say back to that Lila did throw up. And she was like, everything's fine. And I'm like, yeah, but now I'm stressed out. So, basically, we had, like, a bunch of stuff we wanted to do, but I ended up just kind of canceling it all because I was like, I'm stressed. And then we just had, like, a dinner reservation at Tony's Town Square Restaurant. So, we went and did that real quick and then headed back to the airbnb so i think that actually worked out pretty cute so let me go ahead and see like what kind of icons i have that we can throw in here and if not i will i don't know what i'm gonna do actually but we'll figure it out so let's start here um so the one poo i think i might just do a star we're just gonna just be putting random stuff in here so we have a star then we did teacups which i don't think i have like a teacup necessarily so we're gonna do a bow because i feel like that's a vibe right a bow let's do the black bow though because it's gonna be a little hard to see the bow for teacups and then for pesco bills peco bills whatever we want to call it i'm gonna just do a fork and knife 
Then we had Haunted Mansion, which I do have. Um, let's see. Let's do the... Let's do one of these. Let's do the, the little balloon because it's Nick's favorite ride. So we'll kind of highlight it. And then afterwards, we did Barnstormers, which I will do... A little, another little star, I think, just like the open face star. Then up here we have, we got um, Rice Krispie Treats and Icy. So I have the little fork and spoon. We met Chippendale. So I think for that I'll do like the little camera. Then we went on the aerial ride. So I'm just going to do the little heart. And then we had McDonald's on the way home. Just got the kids some fries and chicken nuggets. And then we had to stop at Ace Hardware because there was a crib, but we needed to adjust the height of the crib and they didn't have any like tools in the house. So Nick had to go get like an Allen wrench. So we just stopped at the Ace Hardware. Then afterwards, it was date with Nick. So for that, I do have some cute little um like me and nick stickers do i have like oh i had the date um i could just do the like the nick i don't think there's a date on the other one i used it already so let's just do nick so it's kind of like with nick but without the with part so nick then for being at magic kingdom i'm going to use the little fireworks and then for um sleepy hollow i think it was hollow sleepy hollow i'm just gonna use the um, i'm just gonna use the little drink sticker or wait i can use one of these because it's like a bigger spot let's do the mickey ears mini ears underneath that we did tom sawyer's island which i think i'll just do um, what do I want to do? Let's do another star. And then underneath that, we did like the little laser guns. I'm really, yeah, uh, we'll do the cleaning bottle. <clears throat> I did actually print out one of these. So actually for Sleepy Hollow, I do have a script. I do have some scripts for some of these actually. So Sleepy Hollow is here. And then I have an Ace Hardware script. I can pull out a McDonald's script from Carly Plans. What else do I have? Um, pew Pew. I don't really know what that gun thing's called. Chippendale. By the camera. Um, what else? Didn't I put pack somewhere and I don't even remember putting in, oh, I put flower child in twice. Mm, let's just lift this up. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's do this. I think pack was supposed to be the one underneath it, but honestly, it's all good. Let's do this little star and then the pack. I feel like I'm kind of like losing steam here a little, so I apologize. But thank you for bearing with me. Um, what else was there? Oh, pe peco, pecos, pesos. Is it peso bill? Peco, pecos. Y'all, somebody's going to have to educate me because I don't know. Um, so wait, I now have to figure out where that one is though. So this was Haunted Mansion. It was one above it. Okay. Actually, that was supposed to be teacups and I think, ugh, this is why I should have thought a little bit about the foil choices. I think this should be okay. We're gonna make it work. We're making it work. Looks a little rough and tough, but you know, we're doing it. 
Um, then let's see what's in here. So we did that. Country Bear Jamboree. Let's do the hat. Sure. And then for Space Mountain, which is my favorite ride, let's do the rainbow. For Kind of Stressed, let's do the like night thing. And then for eating, let's do, I don't think I have like a spaghetti. So let's do um, the little like ice cream. So I do have like a snack sticker. So we did that two, or no, two after Haunted Mansion. So up here we have snacks. So I don't need to really make that many, just a couple. And then Tony's Town Diner down here. And then for being stressed, um, there's got to be something on here, right? Um, I'm just going to do mental ebbing breakdown because, I mean, I was almost there. So there's that. And then I think that that is everything. Again, sorry that this like kind of went a little south towards the end here with my unpreparedness, but overall I think this is really, really cute. I do think that I am going to opt for the red. I don't know, because I feel like it does have like just a nice little look, but I feel like, hold on, let me clear off my hand of all the sticker pieces and parts. I do feel like this might give it a little, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to go for it. What do you think? Yeah, I'm going to go for it. So we're going to stick these down. <sighs> but yeah, basically I think that that is everything. I need to go through and figure out what scripts I need to print out and I'll add them later. I feel like that was definitely my bad for not thinking about like what scripts I had, but you know. We live and we learn. These are just the confetti headers from Planet I feel like they're just kind of like the most basic as far as like they will match literally anything and give you a nice little glitter headered look. But yeah, I think this is really, really cute. The only thing I wish I had is something for the, the 15 millimeter in red, but that's okay. Like I'm not gonna... I'm going to live. But also, like I said, I do think I have like a sparkly red coming in confetti with the 30 other colors. So I can always just grab a little 15 millimeter from there. Because a lot of times I like to do like a mixed metal look anyways. So I can probably spare the... I hope I have enough glitter header overlays. I should. Because you only need three more than normal. And I feel like there's always a lot more than three left. But yeah, I am not, I'm not regretting using the red here. I think that it's ni a nice little added touch. If I was really feeling like ambitious, I would like somehow cut these to like make them look cute on the 15 millimeter, but not today. Not today. But I do think this is a really cute spread. Happy with the way it turned out. Even happy with like the extra day. I think it like... Like, it looks really weird when you put down the base, I think. But then once you have everything down, I think it kind of blends in and you don't really notice it as much. And like I said, I am doing this kind of again. Um, actually, I'm basically, yeah, basically doing this same type of thing, except for this day will be Monday. So I have to figure out something to do with the date covers. Maybe I'll grab an extra sheet from work. Maybe I'll just kind of figure it out. Um... We will see, but yeah, I think that turned out cute. I ended up having four glitter header overlays extra, but yeah, besides like forgetting to make a bunch of scripts and not really having icons for those, I do think that this turned out really, really cute. And even with the like, you know, making Sunday into two days, I think that that is like a cute little look. Um, let me go ahead and show you what I have left over. I will... Um, this will be like going into D stash. This will be going, or hold on, let me see. This will be going into D stash, so like all of these kit extra sheets. Usually when I have my bin full, I just do like a little giveaway on Facebook or something. 
So those are going to desash, and then I'll be saving these and putting them with my sparkly red extras. So I'll be saving those, these, and then these, as well as the scripts. These scripts, I'll be just desashing these red. Um, actually, I'm going to save those. You never know when you're going to need them. Um, desashing that, desashing this. I'll actually just go ahead and combine these so that it's not like so much paper. And then I do have one of these like black um, 15 millimeters that I'll just put back where I got it from, saving these, those, and saving these Halloween stickers. So I like to finish these by the end of the year, but we will see. So that is everything for this spread. I hope y'all liked it. Thank you for bearing with me through the technical difficulties and I will talk to y'all in my next one. Bye.